So this project is focused on, on developing drought tolerant varieties of rice. And as you'll know, rice is one of the major staple crops in the world. It's, it's used to feed about 2 billion people currently. And in India, where it's grown a lot, about 45 to 50 percent of the total rice that's grown is grown in what we call rain-fed regions. That means that it's grown independently of irrigation, so it's totally dependent on, on rain for, for watering. And uh, obviously with climate change and weather patterns becoming less predictable, then, then drought and flooding are becoming bigger and bigger issues. So, so if we are to develop uh, sustainable food production, especially in the developing world, then projects like this are very important. And this is a very interesting project scientifically as well, because what it's doing is it, it's developing uh, a new concept that uh, during, during the selection of all of the major crops, uh, we've lost a lot of the natural variation, genetic variation, that's present in wild ancestors. And so when we're trying to breed new varieties, uh, it's better to go back and look at what's available in the wild from wild ancestors. And this project, in collaboration with uh, Professor Susan McCooch from Cornell University and the Central Rice Research Institute in India, is doing just that. So Susan made this very interesting discovery in, in rice that uh, there are some wild ancestral species that are, even though they're not very good at producing grain, they're very drought tolerant. And what she's done is she's developed populations that have got segments of the wild ancestral species genome introduced into a commercial varieties so that you can then put those out and look for drought tolerance in the commercial varieties. So they'll have all of the, the traits of high yielding, good quality grain, but then you're looking for plants that have got a segment of the wild species in them that is giving drought tolerance. And so that's what we're doing in this project. We're, we're screening for new improved varieties in India. And in York and Cornell, we're doing all of the experimental work that will then understand what is making those plants drought tolerant because once we understand that then we can breed for drought tolerance much more efficiently and uh, in York we're looking at a range of different parameters such as uh, how gene expression is controlled how the physiology of the plant is affected and also very importantly uh, our colleagues in the the York Envi uh, Environment Sustainability Institute are getting involved more in the climate change modeling and in the socioeconomic studies as well. So within York, this is a very nice collaboration between the Center for Novel Agricultural Products, which I'm the director of, and uh, Professor Sue Hartley, who's the director of uh, uh, YESI, uh, and uh, working in collaboration to do both the experimental uh, genomics type work and the more field-based modeling and socio-economic work because what's important is that we don't just identify new varieties but those new varieties actually ultimately get out to poor farmers in India and the developing world and to do that you really need to understand the socio-economic issues as well as the plant breeding type issues because basically uh, as we've seen in a number of projects up until now uh, rice is almost as much part of the culture as it is a commodity crop and and unless you introduce these these improved traits into local varieties of rice that people find acceptable then then it's not then the fruits of your labor aren't actually going to be benefiting anyone and that's why it's really good working with uh, the Central Rice Research Institute because there they already do a lot of the field trialing work uh, with a mind to doing this on varieties which will be take which will be acceptable to the local communities. And so working with them is a real advantage to the project as well.